Allison, now we've got some new developments to report tonight on a security breach at Target stores. That's put millions of customers' credit card information in jeopardy. Now, if you shopped in a Target store between Thanksgiving weekend and December 15th, identity thieves may have your credit card information. Target says that as many as 40 million customers could be affected. Chris Van Cleve live from Fairfax tonight with a look at how this could happen and what you should be doing now to protect your money. Chris? Well, Leon, Target has started to notify customers with emails like this. One could be waiting for you in your inbox if you've been doing your holiday shopping at Target the last few weeks, encouraging customers to watch their statements very closely. And if they see anything that doesn't look right, call their card companies immediately. That's how thieves swiped Christmas. Retail giant Target admits hackers may have compromised 40 million credit and debit cards used by shoppers in their stores nationwide between November 27th, the day before Thanksgiving, and last Sunday. From the bad guy's perspective, that's the perfect day to launch an attack. The more traffic you have, the more deals you have, the more people are swiping their cards. That concerns me. I'm going in there with cash now. I'm not going to use my card anymore. Pat Clancy recently used her debit card at this Chantilly Target. Worried about the breach, she went straight to her bank this morning. They checked my balance, and they also, and I also asked when I was there if I should close my account and open up a new account and not have a debit card. What do you think about the fact that somebody might have your credit card info? I don't like it a bit. I think that there needs to be more security. The bad guy stole what's called track data, the information stored on a card's magnetic strip, including card number, expiration date, cardholder's name and the security code on the back. So essentially they can use that information uh, to clone a card, but they can also use that information to make online purchases as well. Jack Menino is chief security officer for Invisium Security in Gainesville. On a scale of one to ten, how bad is this breach? Uh, I'd probably put it about a nine, nine and a half. One thing we don't know is if debit card PIN numbers were compromised as well. Target isn't saying how the breach happened, only that they moved swiftly to fix it once they discovered it. At this point, the Secret Service is investigating who might be behind it. We can tell you it does not appear that purchases made online at Target.com were affected by this security breach. We're live in Fairfax tonight. Chris Van Cleve, ABC 7 News.